Chinese mythology is a rich tapestry interwoven with creation myths, divine beings, enchanting realms, mythical creatures, and age-old legends. These narratives fuse ancient folklore, history, religious beliefs, and mystical rituals, tracing their origins back to the dawn of human existence. Among the vast array of ancient sources, the classic of mountains and seas, or Shan Hai Jing in Chinese, stands as one of the most significant foundations of Chinese mythology. In 2070 BC, Yu the Great established the Zia dynasty after overcoming a great flood. During this time, he and his assistant Boyi are believed to have created this masterpiece. It recorded the places they had heard of or visited and the monsters they encountered and defeated on their journey to conquer the flood. The work depicts a magnificent world of hundreds of states inhabited by powerful deities, mythical beings, fascinating landscapes, and mysterious legends. The classic of mountains and seas seamlessly blends elements of reality, myth, and legend, providing a window into an era populated by mysterious deities and courageous heroes who made significant contributions to Chinese culture. Over time, more historical records, literature, and religious classics have emerged and fused together, forming the fundamental world of Chinese mythology, a polytheistic system in a splendid and intricate world. In the heavens above, the sky is divided into four cardinal directions, each guarded by a mythical creature known as the Four Symbols. Each of these celestial beings governs seven ancient constellations and controls a different season, the Azure Dragon, White Tiger, Vermilion Bird, and Black Tortoise. The Azure Dragon of the East, also known as Qing Long, symbolizes the left, spring, and the element of wood. As one of the most powerful creatures in Chinese mythology, the Azure Dragon represents power, strength, and integrity, revered as the guardian of the land by humans. The White Tiger of the West, or Bai Hu, embodies the right autumn and the element of metal, symbolizing loyalty, power, bravery, and justice. Honored as the god of war in ancient China, the White Tiger held significant military importance, often appearing on army flags and seals as a symbol of valor and protection. The Vermilion Bird of the South, or Zhu Kui, represents the front, summer, and the element of fire. Among the most majestic and divine creatures, the Vermilion Bird is believed to guide souls to heaven after death, offering a path to the afterlife. The black tortoise of the north, known as Zhuan Wu, represents the back, winter, and the element of water. This mythical being, depicted as a turtle intertwined with a snake, is believed to travel between the celestial realm and the human world, delivering important messages from the gods. At the center of heaven, surrounded by these four majestic creatures, lies the three enclosures, the dwelling place of celestial deities and Hao Tianshang Di, the supreme god in Chinese Han culture. He presides over all aspects of the world, symbolizing the divine order. Throughout history, Chinese emperors were revered as the sons of heaven, endowed with the divine mandate of heaven to govern the nation. The heaven itself is personified in Hao Tianshang Di. From the Zhou dynasty to the Qing dynasty, the veneration of this paramount deity was marked by the most significant and grandiose imperial sacrificial ceremonies, exclusively performed by emperors. In the main hall of the Temple of Heaven, where emperors of the Ming and Qing dynasties conducted grand sacrificial ceremonies, the memorial tablet of Hao Tianshang Di is sacredly enshrined. Besides the three enclosures, the Yellow Dragon, also known as Ying Long, guards the central heart of the heavens. Representing the earth, Ying Long controls the wind and rain and assisted benevolent kings in defeating their enemies and vicious monsters. Under the heavens, the land spreads out in grandeur, resplendent with magnificent landscapes, humans, and mythical beings. 
In the west stands the sacred Kunlun Mountains, the most supreme and revered mountain in Chinese mythology and Taoism religion. Kunlun, regarded as the progenitor of all mountains, stands at the very heart of the world, colossal and steep, its grandeur accentuated by a monumental pillar that reaches toward the heavens. This majestic realm is encircled by four gates, intersected by nine paths, and surrounded by the meandering Ruoshui River, where even a feather cannot float. Beyond these gates and the flowing river lies the Mountain of Fire, a place where the unwelcome are reduced to ashes by relentless flames. The guardian of Kunlun is a mythical creature called Lu Wu, also known as Kaiming Shou. Lu Wu oversees the plants, animals, and climates within this domain, as large as 99 tigers, with a human head and a tiger's body with nine tails. In some interpretations, Lu Wu is depicted with nine human heads. Kunlun is a treasure trove of innumerable precious flowers and plants, mythical creatures, and a bounty of treasures. Amidst these breathtaking scenes are magnificent palaces, built with fabulous gold, jade, and gems, constantly shining with magnificent, colorful lights. At the center of Kunlun lies Yaochi, a mystical lake enveloped by an abundance of exquisite flowers and unique flora. Near Yaochi resides Shi Wang Mu, revered as the Queen Mother of the West, the sacred and formidable deity of Kunlun. She holds dominion over all female deities and possesses the elixirs of life that bestow immortality upon the world. Throughout history, she has dispatched mythical creatures and deities and, on occasion, ventured into the mortal realm herself, offering her divine aid to overcome calamities and adversities. Notably, some of China's most exceptional emperors, renowned for their remarkable achievements, have had the privilege of encountering or receiving blessings from her. During her celestial journeys, three mythical cyan birds known as Qing Niao accompany her, sometimes serving as messengers between the mundane world and the mysterious land. Opposite the majestic Kunlun Mountains, three grand mystical islands float on the sea in the east, Peng Lai, Fang Zhang, and Ying Zhou. Within these enchanting realms, Palaces crafted from the finest jade, silver, and gold glisten, while the flora and fauna radiate a pure whiteness akin to billowing clouds. These enigmatic islands are also home to powerful deities presided over by the supreme Dong Wang Gong, the sovereign of male deities. Two of China's most illustrious emperors, Qin Shi Huang and Emperor Wu of Han, ventured eastward several times in their quest to enter this mythic domain and attain immortality. In his pursuit, Qin Shi Huang even commanded the construction of three islands within a vast lake at his palace, meticulously replicating the essence of these eastern mythic mountains. This tradition of emulating the three islands in one lake layout extended to many subsequent emperors, adorning their imperial gardens. Between the Kunlun Mountains and the three islands lies the vast land, home to a myriad of sacred and enigmatic mountains, such as Dangshu Mountain, where the Chinese phoenix Fenghuang resides, and Qingchu Mountain, the home of the nine-tailed foxes. Amidst these mountains are splendid rivers, lakes, and seas, scattered among which are different states, with their heroic kings and diligent people, as well as various majestic mythical creatures with fascinating legends. Moreover, throughout both heaven and earth, unseen forces shape and influence our world, each with its own unique powers and purposes— Souls, spirits, demons, monsters, ghosts, devils, deities, and gods. They rule, cultivate, inspire, and traverse different realms, leaving behind countless captivating folklore and legends. These stories have been passed down orally, inscribed on ancient oracle bones, engraved on valuable bronze wares, depicted in old murals and paintings, chronicled in historical records, celebrated in classic literature, presented in religious and folk shrines, honored in traditional festivals, recounted in fascinating tales, and seamlessly integrated into the daily lives of many people. 
For further exploration of mythical mountains, seas, creatures, deities, and more from Chinese mythology, join us in our upcoming episodes.